This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. I hope you all are doing good. So let's discuss today export declaration. What is customs declaration? So let's say if we wish to trade internationally means we want to sell or purchase on an international level. Every time the goods cross international border, the local authorities need to be informed. And depends on the local rules and regulations, we need to submit a set of document. So the document which we are using to declare our shipment is called as a customs export declaration in case of export and customs import declaration in case of import now these documents can be communicated either on paper or via electronically and we know that today most of the customs authorities accept document electronically so in case of export we must create a customs export declaration this customs export declaration we know that we will be using for the communication with the customs authorities because if they accept this document if they are approving our you know shipment then only shipment can cross the border so this customs export declaration we will be uh, you know creating for communication with the customs authorities and for printing the export document the system will automatically uh, creates and customs export declaration based on our billing document. So let's understand one flow starting from sales document up to billing document with this diagram. So in this flow, the upper portion belongs to our feeder system. We all know our feeder system is uh, could be ECC, SAP EEC system, or it could be SAP S4 HANA system. And the lower portion this portion belongs to sap gts system now our export process or let's say sales process right sales process is start with what creation of a sales document because customer who want to purchase our product he will be placing an order and based on that order we will be creating a sales document in our sap ecc or s4 hana system so here we have created a sales document since our sap GTS will be connected via this feeder system via remote function call. So by using this remote function call, this customs document will be uh, the sales document will be transferred to SAP GTS system and we will have associated customs document created. Now, once the customs document gets created, then system will start screening these documents against compliance check. We all know that in compliance management we have three modules that is embargo check spl screening that is sanction party list screening and legal control check so a customs document will go for this compliance screening so here screening will happen and based on the screening if the document is clear from all the check meaning our document is not blocked so if the document is not blocked then document customs document will be ready for our further process in case if our customs document is blocked due to any reason due to either embargo check or spl screening or legal control check then based on setting user will be notified via email communication and once user will be notified then he has to take the appropriate action let's say if he thinks it is a false positive right so after reviewing it he may release it and if he is releasing this document again this document will be ready for our further process but if the user thinks that no this is a true match then our then he will not in fact uh, he will confirm the block and customs document will always be in blocked status so since at this level, our customs document is clear. And if our customs document is clear, meaning what? Our sales document is clear, right? And if the sales document is clear, if from the ECC side or as for HANA side, if user is trying to create an outbound delivery, yes, system will allow. So here user has created one outbound delivery. Again, via this remote function call this outbound delivery will be transferred to sap gts system and again we will have associated customs document created 
Again, this custom set document will go for our compliance screening. Similar to our sales document, this delivery specific custom set document will also go for embargo check, SPL screening, and legal control check. Same thing that if after you know screening, if the document is clear from all the check, document is not blocked right our customs document is not blocked it means our customs document will be ready it will be available for our further process but if the customs document is blocked due to any reason again user will be notified via email communication so that he can take the appropriate action now here user is ta uh, taking the action if he thinks that it is false positive he may release the document and once the document will be released again our custom same uh, our customs document will be ready for our further process but if he thinks no it is a fault it is a true match then he will not take the any action document will always be in blocked status and here document is clear what does it mean our delivery outbound delivery document is clear from the gts check and if outbound delivery is clear from gts check so user will be creating a pro forma invoice because in most of the cases we are using pro forma invoice and this pro forma invoice only helps sap gts system to create a customs export declaration so based on some you know setting this pro, um, pro forma invoice will be transferred to sap gts system and we will have automatic export declaration created in sap gts system and we all know what is the main purpose of this export declaration right this customs export declaration in fact we are going to send to the customs authorities so here we will be submitting this customs export declaration to the customs authorities and let's say we are submitting this uh, electronically right so we will be submitting our customs export declaration to the respective customs authorities we all know that we have so many customs authorities example we have in case of us we have es in case of germany we have atlas in case of netherlands we have dms right so we will be submitting our customs export declaration for the you know declaration purpose and then this customs export declaration will be going to the respective customs system they will validate all the information and if they approve it if they find that yeah everything is correct everything is perfectly fine they will approve it and once they will approve it in our sap gts system we will be receiving one acceptance message in which we can see in our uh, customs export declaration i hope you all know that you know when we are sending this customs export declaration generally we are sending this export declaration via m message right so via m message we are sending this customs export declaration and when we receive any response let's say we have received the acceptance confirmation so we will be receiving in the form of i message so here we have received the acceptance confirmation from the customs authorities in case if customs authorities reject this customs export declaration due to any reason if they will reject it so we can check the processing log why this declaration has been rejected accordingly we will be taking the appropriate action and after taking the action we will be resubmitting to the customs authorities and let's say this time it is approved from the authority side and when, when they will approve it we will be receiving the acceptance confirmation from them and once we receive the acceptance confirmation from them based on the you know uh, required country of destination system will also allow us to print some export document here we have many types of export document example we may have ead we have sad right we have sli so these are the export documents these export document after printing out we will be sending to our driver because they may have to carry it because uh, as per you know uh, probably sometimes authorities may ask them to present these documents right here so we have sent this document uh, to the driver now the shipment has arrived to the port at the port and you know the, um, uh, after completing all the formalities you know goods will be loaded on the vessel and once this once shipment will start moving 
let's say all the formalities have, have been completed what happens since this is called as a customs office of exit right because from this office only our shipment is crossing the border so this is called as a customs office of exit so once shipment is about to cross the border we will be receiving one more incoming message from them that is called as a exit confirmation so exit confirmation is a proof which shows that yeah we have completed all the formalities our shipment has crossed the border it means you can close the document so that we can um, we can start with some other document so this completes our you know export process thank you so much for listening to me